Okay, so first tip I'm going to give you is to wear gloves. The gloves I use are from Grease Monkey. These ones, I'm pretty sure mechanics use these ones. Perfect, they don't rip. So we wanna make sure that we have proper protection always. In that case, you wanna make sure that you're wearing a respirator. Please stop wearing cloth masks and 95 masks, no mask at all. Please just don't do that. Wear your respirator. It might be a little expensive, but honestly, your lungs will thank you for it. Concrete is so dangerous. You need to make sure you're protecting yourself. Remember these? <laughs> so when I first started, I started doing concrete out of solo cups. I have since then graduated and now I use silicone bowls. These are perfect, you can, you can scratch it, squish it, everything like that, it's super, super durable. I've been using mine for months. Pack that I got comes in three different sizes. So this is the medium, that's the small, and that's the large. The silicone bowls are a game changer. You can do double the amount of concrete. Um, you don't accidentally spill, you don't accidentally pour too much water, and then you don't have enough room to fix it. Just get the silicone bowls, guys. Another tip that I have, I used to use spoons, forks, sticks, basically anything I could find to mix concrete, I would use it. Um, so now I use little plastic, plaster mixers. So these I just get from Home Depot. They're, I want to say about a dollar, dollar twenty-five. I don't know, but I get a whole bunch of them. I use them. When the concrete dries, you just give it a little and it'll come right off. Perfect. It's perfect for mixing when you have a little bit, when you're mixing with your hand. Um, secondly, if you have a lot of concrete to mix, then you can mix with a drill. That's where this comes in. Uh, basically, I just have some random bit on the end that we found in the garage, but I have an actual concrete mixer too, so. Now I'm gonna talk about a little bit of pigment on how I add pigment to my concrete. So here's an example, a red and gold booty. This one I use Glow Marble. It all depends on how much uh, pigment you actually add to the concrete on how dark it will come out. So this one was a little light. This one, I use quite a bit of color of pigment so you can definitely see it actually comes in a brown bag and I kind of just put it in a little Rubbermaid from the dollar store there's a spoon in there that I can just scoop it out so also there is a brand called color rare uh, their pigments pretty good too I've only tried a few of them but eh, it wasn't bad don't mind this container this is my titanium dioxide com container which I have like none left if you can see it uh, basically the titanium dioxide is what I use to get all my concrete nice and white and I just ordered it off of Amazon super easy now for a black pigment if you want it nice and black I would suggest the super black from glow marble so super black gets it super super dark and black whereas I was having issues with other pigments that weren't making it as black so if you want super super black concrete get the glow marble uh, super black so another tip I have for you is invest in a drying rack. This is where I sand, I seal, I put everything there to dry so I don't get confused with what is sealed, what's not sealed, which you can normally tell anyways, but you want to make sure that you're sanding and sealing in one area and then you have a stock area. This is just from Home Depot, but if you can get anything else like that, something like that. It doesn't have to be exactly this, but this has helped so much every five minutes I was really annoyed saving all the empty containers and now these are my water jugs this is a new one that's why it looks so clean so I have a stockpile of water here so I don't have to constantly keep going to the sink getting more water come back slows down the process so honestly pop two liter bottles will probably be better because this is only this is only 1.5 liter so like if you drink pop save those another tip seal with a foam brush so with the sealers that I use, which I'm going to do a video on, I know everybody is going always going crazy about a sealer, I'm going to go into a sealer video real soon. You have to remember though, I personally don't make candles anymore, it was too much for me, um, but I make the vessels. So I still have that candle 
knowledge background, but I'm talking more of sealing concrete for longevity for home decor pieces. So I use the foam brush and I go through these like crazy. All right, and let's talk about molds. So basically you can get molds from anywhere. Amazon, I'm gonna link a bunch down there. Take a look. I'll link also some Etsy stores that I found uh, that have really good molds. Just honestly, try it. Doesn't work, doesn't work. All right guys, thanks for watching this video. I really hope all these tips helped you. If you have any questions, put it down in the comment box. I will answer every question I get. Any video requests, I'll also do that. Uh, just wanted to keep this nice and short with any updates that I had on things that I, that I do with my concrete business. Feel free to subscribe, follow me on Instagram, TikTok. See you later.